money I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money But I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hello and welcome to Nerd in Motion And it is quite snowy It's a lot snowy actually And I'm a bit cold I've been sat here for a little while Contemplating my thoughts And what I was going to talk about So Channel update. What's going on? I haven't put a video up for a little while since uh, I did that live stream. So, um, as some of you might know, some don't know, um, I, I only, I, I've stopped um, working at the brewery. I'm still an owner, but I've kind of been kicking around ideas and what I want to do. I thought about setting up another business. I thought about doing another product. All sorts of stuff, and then I just thought, you know what I need to do? I just want something that's low stress for a while, um, and something that I might enjoy. Um, so, I am now fully booked onto doing my HGV Class 1. Um, so, if you're in America, that means uh, you're licensed to drive trucks. Big ones. Uh, and I've always wanted to do it. I, I'm... Like, ever since I was a kid and I saw Smoke and the Bandit, I've always wanted wanted to drive trucks. Um, so I've probably got rose-tinted glasses on this whole process. But um, the reason why I want to do it uh, is, one, I want to earn some good money. Two, I want to be present in the moment. And that's probably the most important part of it. So um, I haven't really stopped like being absolutely constantly thinking about how to improve businesses how to grow stuff since 2008 um i've just been constantly trying to learn and build and i'm exhausted with it i'm absolutely totally and utterly exhausted and i'm not young anymore well i say i'm not young i'm not old but i'm not as young as I was. I don't have the energy that I used to have where I'd work 48 hours non-stop and then catch up on sleep later on. I just can't do that anymore. Um, and the other thing is, it's the when I'm at home with my kids and my wife and they're talking to me, I'm like halfway through a conversation, I completely zone out because I start thinking about work. And that's not healthy and it's not good. It's not good for them. And um, a, f a while back, my, the, I mean, this is, it's been a kind of chain, I've ch tried to change a lot since a few years back, uh, Kobe, Kobe's bike broke, and somebody else's parent fixed it, and I felt terrible, I mean, I felt terrible that I just, I hadn't taken the time to fix it, and it wasn't even something that I couldn't fix, I just hadn't got around to it. And that was pretty dreadful. And then a few years later, um, there was something else. And Kobe said to me, I said, why didn't you ask me to, fix, to do it for you? And he said, you're either working or you're too tired. And it broke my heart. It absolutely broke my heart. And I thought after that, I've got to do something. And this is just not, not on. So that's part of the reason why I want to do my truck license. Because when I'm at home, I can't be a truck driver. I am at home. And no one's ringing me about anything. They might text me to tell me what I'm doing the next day. But when I'm at home, I'm at home. And I'm in the moment. And... That's what I'm looking forward to. The downside, the only things I'm not looking forward to, every other idiot that's driving on the road, uh, <laughs> which I only know this because I've done a lot of miles driving around in this van, um, and people's driving, they're so, they just don't think about the people around them or the size of the vehicle or the fact that you might not be able to brake as fast as them because you've got like a ton of gear in the back or what, whatever it is. Th that I'm not looking forward to because... Some people just 
Honestly, I, I don't know how they get themselves dressed in the morning. Um, <laughs> so, so harsh, sorry. Sorry if you're that person, but y you are. Um, you can't fix stupid. Um, oh, so, gosh, I'm so harsh, sorry. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, the other thing is, it's long hours. There are a lot, you, you know, your hour, your day might be 10 to, could be potentially 15 hour day, even though you've only got nine hours of driving. And potentially, you might have to stay out if you run out of hours and stuff and sleep in the truck. Um, so that means being away from my wife and kids. Um, although they're all older now, um, so it's not quite as like, oh, I've got to be there. And Lids is very much, she's quite independent. So she's not one of them where if I'm away, she's ringing me every two minutes. Oh, oh, this has happened. Like, she's very... She's a strong woman, and she knows what, you know, what's what. In fact, she was just like, oh, I'll have the whole bed to myself, and I'll be able to watch... What's this program? She's watching this thing on Netflix, Love is Blind. She's like, I can, I can binge watch Love is Blind. And we, were, we were proper laughing, and, uh, yeah, so that that's quite funny. So that that makes me feel better, but, yeah, I don't... But the on the pros of it is that there's so many flip sides to to different jobs like there's i saw a job and it was just delivering food to schools so you're only working in term times it's a little less money but you get loads of holiday there's other jobs where it's just trunking so you're just driving from like one prime depot to another prime depot and it's all fairly straightforward work. You're not loading or unloading anything. You're just go picking up a trailer, getting another trailer, taking another trailer back. And I'm like, yes, I'm all about that. That's what I would like. It's a bit of waiting around, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Don't mind waiting around and relaxing. And hey, I might even get an opportunity to live stream with you guys from the back of the cab. Um, or if I have to camp out, I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I'm not a big fan of camping as in tents. I like watching other people do it on YouTube, but I'm not a fan of it. Um, but I, do, I love, I lo I've, like, my parents were always big caravanners. So I'm quite happy to to make a small area all cosy and nice. So I'm quite excited for that. So that, that'll be a bit of fun. Um, I'm excited because it's a bucket list thing. I've always wanted to do ever since I was a kid and I saw Smoking the Bandit. Um, although I'm sure that'll wear off fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to having some good money in. Um, I'm excited for that and having a proper wage. Um, so yeah, so there's lots of lots of positives. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, I've got another video coming up where I am. So I'm selling a vehicle and I'm using lots of different platforms. So like We Buy Any Car. Carwow, wow, motorway um ebay gumtree uh auto trader and i'm going to go through all of those and review them after the fact and i'll tell you the whole story and where we got to it it's already absolutely fascinating to the point where i've got to today honestly you couldn't make it up it's it's fascinating and there's so many uh, it, well, not so many, but there is quite some psychological games that are going on within that. So that's quite quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a video about that. I've got to get a new car. I need a car. I don't, you know, so I have been looking at cars. So I've got a short list. Um, two that are really not what I would normally go for. I really fancy Mercedes E-Class because um, they're quite cheap now. They're... I'm looking for something around like the hundred thousand mile mark or a bit more. Um, Twenty thirteen onwards, uh, ideally. So I quite like the Mercedes E Class, nice car. Test drove one. Oh my gosh! I realised I am that person that is now more about the comfort than I am about the looks. As I sit here with my camo socks on, which are like fluffy warm ones inside. My camo crocs, and it's snowing outside. Yes, that's right. I have got to the point where it's comfort over anything else. So I really enjoyed driving that car, and had I had the money at the time, I would have bought it. So 
yeah, that's definitely one of them. And also, I like the fact that they're super reliable. That era of Mercedes and the one, the one slightly before it on the template, they Mercedes had a massive problem with reliability and build quality and rust. They started making that model, and they really went to town on making it like a proper reliable bit of kit. And they are they're they're very reliable cars. Um, so I'm looking at one of those. Uh, the other option, really outside one, not my normal thing, but I was looking at them last night. I was like, man, these are awesome. Skoda Superb Estate, but you can get like a DSG 4x4 with a pan roof. And I mean, the kids are always moaning that they ain't got enough room in the back. Well, that thing, they've got more, they could bloom and play tennis in the back of there. It's absolutely massive. And they, some of them even have heated rear seats. I mean, I was like, yes, that that's awesome um so i really fancy one of them it's not a pretty car but my gosh it looks it looks awesome what and uh, you can get anything in it you can like it's on the edge of being a van it's that big <laughs> i was like that would be an awesome adventure wagon especially if you got one with like roof bars you could put a tent box on st top and stuff like that and i'm not that bothered about the way it looks i just think that would be a fun car also would be hilarious to attempt to track day it so i thought that would be quite funny um, the other option, and this is really outside one, is an, a car called an Infiniti Q50, which was like the Lexus version of Nissan, basically. Um, they've gone back to America. They've, they've not managed to make it work here. Uh, but there's a few of the cars floating around, and they're essentially Nissans. Um, but the 2.2 litre, I always like avoided them because I thought... It would be a Renault diesel, um, and actually it's not. It is a Mercedes-Benz, uh, the 2.2, which is in the E-Class. That's a great engine and gearbox. So I'm like, you've got really good reliability, and then, you know, from the J Japanese car, and then you've got really good, uh, like, uh, you know, re reliability from... Uh, and the nice drive from the Mercedes diesel uh, engine and running gear. So that's, and they're cheap to buy. The only downside to that car is that it will depreciate like unbelievably. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a very cool car. Um, and they're very, they're really, they're quite modern inside. Um, so I thought that would be good fun. So those are my three short lists. So I want relatively cheap to run, comfy. I want comfort. Uh, like that family flexibility and um, yeah it'd be nice if it was worth something in like five years time so anyway in the comments put what you think um, and um, yeah tell me what you'd like to see also man I just watched Cletus McFarlane the next Freedom 500 looks awesome and they've got uh, Misha's going this time so we've got a first time, I think, for a proper European. And uh, the, uh, uh, what they call grind hard plum, plumbing uh, there. Uh, uh, Matt's, Matt from, um, oh, what's it called? The guy that tows people out. There's going to be loads of them there. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to be making sure I've got that date free because I would really like to do a watch party for that. Because, and like not everybody can afford to watch it and i can we can have a few beers and talk and be silly so yeah i'm well up for that um and yeah and the channel going forwards i'm still continuing with with the nerd in motion i'm enjoying this for the first time in a long time i'm enjoying it i like the fact that i can talk about the things i want to talk about and not feel like oh no it's going to be the end of the world i'm gonna you know i can't say this i can't say that I can say whatever I want now, within reason. I mean, I'm not the person that wants to be horrible to people, particularly. So, it, it for me, it's more about, like, the way things are going is the issue for me. And it's affecting something that I enjoy, which is driving, racing, all that kind of stuff. It's just getting ruined by these unelected people who I have no idea who they are, but they want all of our money and they want us to be enslaved to them. And I'm not willing to do it, so I shall... Uh, quite you know i will keep watching the people i want to watch and i will keep um talking about the injustice that these people create 
like you less, which is an absolute joke. Um, so yeah, so that's what's coming up on the channel, and that's what we're doing. So we're going to be doing all the trucking thing. We've got bits of bobs coming up. I'm going to keep it fun. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some some more stuff like the Top Don Diagnostic Tool. What a bit of kit! So we're going to be doing some more things with that. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be fun. So. Yeah, 15 minutes of me waffling. If you've made it this far, you need a medal. You can have 2,000 John points. All right, see you all later. Have a wonderful time. I'm going to go and build a snowman. Um, hey, do you know the problem with snowmen? They've got no... Uh... Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm